Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3 where we're gonna get our reward for actually clearing out this kind of bandit hideout here. There was organized crime and uh, we kind of killed everybody because, you know, we had some reasons. Also there's an ammo box that I almost forgot to take. So let's take a look around. We got some energy cells, some buckshot, we got some 556 as well as 9 mil. That's good. That's good. Also, this locker we have taken. I think we are done here, guys. So, let's go back to uh, Sheriff Daisy and collect our reward. That's gonna be good, guys. And then, I don't know what we're gonna be doing. I hope that we get some follow-up quests from her. And um, have a good time. Also, give me one more second. I wanna quickly check if I actually missed out something here on the upper story. But it seems like I didn't, so... Yeah, now we are fine. Alrighty. Also... Can I now access the computer? Does it do anything? I think I tried last time, right? Yeah, it's fine. Also, another thing. Can I access the slot machine now? Now that nobody is preventing me from hijacking that thing again. <laughs> Let's check it out as well. Um, One to play, match three to win. Okay, three Neon Cowboys wins the jackpot. Ah, I can put one dollar in the slot. You drop in your money, yank the lever and watch as the machine springs to life. Let's try again. One more. And pull it. Okay, yeah, never mind. Oh. Yeah, ne never mind. We're gonna get out of here. Sorry for all the trouble. Ahem. Um. So much for that. The hostess was also. Did we kill her? Does she belong here? Seriously. I really don't want to. <laughs> we have a nice surprise around here. Um, yeah, I wanted to test my shotgun anyway. So, let's test the shotgun. Doesn't really do so much. Also, it's quite focused in its beam. In its spread here. Mm. 77 on the hostage. Let's go around here. I. It's so cool that that thing has a laser sight. And we're gonna use our good old... Slug thrower. I'm just here and, and try to kill her because that might give me more loot. I'm I'm that person. Yeah, I know. I'm the worst. But uh, let's uh, let's actually let's actually move here. I need to not waste all of my bullets, I believe. Yeah. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna defend that. Here we go. Oh no, she is a rowdy now. She's taking some drugs. And the uh, people who are taking drugs are not you. Wow. fighting on the premises. Bad people, actually. Woo! That got Lucia down. I wasn't expecting her to be that hard. I was like, hmm, that's a kind of a civilian type of character. I guess we have to do something about it here. I'm gonna take myself, user. We will no deal no damage really. Anyway. Pew pew pew. We still have some energy cells to spare, so that's fine. Uh, or we, we just get Kodiak and get him in here. Yo, big boy. Let the hammer swing. That was good. 24, 64. That's something like friendly fire, right? So if I move behind my friends, I just need to check. And uh, shoot a Tommy gun. Oh, thank God that's over. These combats are killing me. <laughs> yeah, literally. So, uh, she got another wound. I think we have to really go back to our dog in the base and uh, try to heal her somehow. All right, uh, that's a negative hit chance. That's a negative hit chance. So, shell shock as well as a twisted wrist. But we got some more loot. Totally worth it. Not. Let's go. Yes, I want to travel. I. Know that I should heal Lucia, but I think we are not getting into any combats now anymore. So I want to kind of save my healing right now. <laughs> Therefore, I'm not gonna give her any any kind of healing. I need to keep these things. Yeah, I need to keep these things in my inventory for later, because I do believe we are just uh, clearing out the quest now, and then we're gonna go back to base, and then we're gonna see what we can do. Just talking to the dog. And then hoping that he can heal us kind of for free. Right? So, here's everybody. I make a few calls, speak to a few people. In exchange, 
I'd like to ask that you hear me out on a proposition. Who, who's that? It's not a thing I really do, this ransoming of aid. But these are unusual circumstances, and Colorado Springs' future hangs in the metaphorical balance. I wouldn't be asking for such an exchange if I wasn't desperate. I'll be at the church in Broadmoor Heights, and I'll tell the marshals to let you through. Come find me here. Talk to Gideon in the Broadmoor Heights. Okay, let's go then. You have to get someone here and stop this thumping. Well, it's not so much a thumping as a throbbing. Kind of like a rawr, rawr. Oh, no, 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 actually, it's more like a rawr, rawr. Uh, Ms. Wong, I, I have another call. If you could just hang on. What the hell? Uh, we have some apartments. Can we rest in apartments? That will be good. Yeah? This is the Sans Lux apartments? Who's there? Fucking kids. <laughs> Fucking kids. Yeah, right. Uh, dumpster? Anything that we can do with that? I'm still looking for stuff. No, I think we have already looted all of that. But there's trash. Let me get that trash real quick. The more stuff we have, the more stuff we can sell. Also, that's a sad banana. <laughs> it's hard being soft. Oh, Let's get that sad banana. Ah, uh, there's some corpses, some citizens, there's a drunk. Wait, can we get in there? We've been in there, Hello? right? Hello? There's something wrong with my cat's poop! Hello, Miss Wong. Good to hear your voice. What's that? Wait, they went here? Let me check that out real quick. That has to do something here. Uh-huh. Inside the building, I believe. Oh, yes, we can get in there. Oh, I guess we're gonna stay in the city for a little longer. Uh, all right, Lucia. Let me go ahead and put you at a bit of ease. There we go. So, let's pick the lock. It's an animatronic. Uh-oh. Hello. Who's here? This Much obliged. Is, seems like a like a museum here. Came here for every class trip we ever had. Is Buchanan a man? What happens? This display is inactive. Wait, but we just powered it on, didn't we? Oh, all right, all right, all right. So, let's take a look around. What's that? A can of baked beans from the bunker where the Patriarch's family waited out in the deluge of the fire. Canned food like this is was all they got to eat, unlike today, when the Patriarch has provided us with fresh greenhouse-grown vegetables. Cybernetic limbs, artificial limbs and augmentations taken from the bodies of defeated scar collectors after the legendary battle of Pumpkin Center, where the Patriarch defeated the savage warlords of the Eastern Plains once and for all. Okay, this is all deactivated. Actually, what, what is what is that? I mean, we have some nerd yeah, stuff going on here. Place is Who wants to hear all the ugly details? This here very much seems like a trap. I should probably not step on there, right? Yeah, I'm not sure if that's... Or maybe it activates everything. Could also be. This is all inactive. Uh, there's a generator. That's good. All right, I'll try. Let's try to repair the generator. That will probably open the door here. Yeah. Oh, nice. More loot for me. Because loot is good. Mmm, medical supplies. Good. Bit of warm in form aldehyde. Aldehyde. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Some dollars and some other stuff. Ammo box, always good. Yes. Let me get all of that. Another tape. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Saul Buchanan Colorado Heritage Museum. You're about to embark on a journey through history as we share with you the people and events that made Colorado what it is today. 
Our new and improved animatronic exhibits will bring history to life as you learn about the rise of the Patriarch, the unification of the Hundred Families, and their battles against the Monster Army and the Plains Gangs. The staff of the Colorado Heritage Museum asks that you do not interact with the exhibits. Ready? Let's go! Let's go! So I put my high perception guy up here and he doesn't seem to find a trap, so I'm gonna step on this thing. No? Nothing? Really? Aww. I was hoping that we could get this done here. But that's okay, I mean we got some good stuff. Also, I wanna check out what this weapon was that we just found. A brain weave the stabilizer requires four weird science. It microwaves and wait, its microwaves can scramble neural pathways, making target targets confuse friends with foes. May cause tumors. Cool, that thing uh, uses energy cells. And we have somebody who is proficient with that, right? Yes. I like that more than the frozen ferret rocket launch, I think. Let's go, let's take it. So, we, we can technically, we can try to confuse enemies with that now. Um, sure, we'll check it out. Also, what about the sniper rifle that we just found? The marksman rifle deals way more damage, has less range though, nah, higher penetration, and the strike rate is a little lower. Also, we can go for center mass here. Negative 100% critical chance, but uh, negative damage and a um, higher hit chance if we ever need it. I like it. So, she has a marksman rifle now. Alright, so also armor upgrades. We need the combat speed upgraded on Mr. Kodiak. Can we do that? Bam. There we go. Confirm that. Yeah, he's gonna keep that armor for a while. Pretty good. Also, I want uh, combat speed upgraded on... You don't have trousers yet? No pants? No pants. Crazy. So, then we will take the, the highest pants value that we have. And mod them. That's probably that. No, it's plus three just. What brings this to the table? Merc Leggings is plus three and three evasion. Getting her a bit more speed is also pretty good. So we're gonna get that here. But oh. And then I think we also got a weapon mod. Uh, we get a magazine, magazine size plus two coming from the extended mag. And then alloy barrel damage plus two. I mean... That's pretty good on automatic weapons that fire more than once, because each individual bullet will be benefiting from that. So, let me take a look at Wong. Not Wong, Quan. It's six times. Seems good, man. And I mean, we could make the submachine gun deal even more damage. It has a pretty high penetration, that's kind of the benefit for that thing, but very low base damage. So if we upgrade that a little bit, then it's good. And I mean, it's the thing that kind of keeps the synth away and the robots. Mm, or we just go for Bren. That thing shoots nine times. Ah, hell yeah, we do that. Let's go ahead and modify the weapon here. Let's go that on the barrel. Do we also want higher magazine size here? That thing has a clip size of 45. I mean, two more shots don't do anything. You know what? This magazine size is gonna go on our new sniper rifle. Because again, you all, I always have to think about relative value. This thing only has a clip size of 5, and 2 more is massive here. Not, me, uh, not being able to, or not having the need to reload, that thing is super good, because um, that way we're gonna save a lot of action points. Okay. We got a good chunk here, good chunk of stuff that we can probably sell, getting some value out of that. And then we need to stock up on medicine. We are really low on, on healing stuff. Alright, anyway, everybody... Having a grenade. This is a party grenade. Hmm. Honestly, I like Kodiak to have the regular grenade. There we go. And I like you to have the Molotov cocktail. Cool. 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 Everybody's ready. Yeah, everybody has healing and a grenade in their hands. Let's keep going, guys. That was pretty, pretty nice. I should probably check the map if there's something else that I can find. I mean, I haven't been in this room. No, I might as well go there. Oh, and then there was also the room in Sheriff Daisy's uh, apartment. Uh, not apartment, in her, you know, Sheriff station, whatever. Where we can lockpick. All I did was ask a few questions. Hey, uh, did you ask your wife about your concerns about Oh, her? that's the wrong way. Um, actually, do we want to buy some stuff? Actually, let's go over here and buy some stuff. I think she had the meds. Welcome back, children. Had another rough night? 
What do you have Remedies to say? Remedies for regret, children. Headache, here you Let's go, try. children. Salvation. So, Mary, thank you for head. hearing me out. I want to cash in a bunch of my guns here. We don't need that army rifle. We don't need a million Tommy guns, that's for sure. I actually like these laser pistols. Cold Death can go. That can go. Warp can go. Frozen Ferret Launcher. Man, I like merchants that have unlimited uh, money. <laughs> that is so good. What was the Road Warrior? That was a blunt weapon that has a chance to apply stun and has a special ability. Sucker Punch. Take him off guard, a quick attack. Has a 40% bonus chance to hit, but negative damage. Oh. That's pretty good if you want to really hit somebody. But we have that big hammer. That's better. Oh, machete can go. Scrap armor. It's plus four armor for three strength. I should probably keep that around. Need to check something. This all can go. The greaser? Sure. Let's get rid of it. Polar Express. I mean, having one rocket launcher in the squad is, I believe, a good idea. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna drop the Convincer. And then we're gonna keep the Squirrel Launcher, because... Why not? And I think I need to stock up on some med hypos. So, how do we take that? How many do we take, actually? I think I'm gonna buy, like, 9, so we have 10 lying around. Or 11 now. And some of these here. That feels way more comfortable now. Alright, so we got that. Very nice. I wanted to check, quickly check what about uh, what, what the armor brings us. So this one gives us four. Whereas this one brings us four for three strength. This is six. This is glorious. I think you all have better stuff already. Yeah, alright. So we can get rid of that. Also, um, let me quickly check what hey, we got Jones. here. Welcome to Taiwan Jones's Emporium. Sardine Lee. Sardine Lee. Is there anything? Semi-auto pistol. 10 damage. Uh, sorry. 4 to 5 damage times 10. That's interesting. But I don't think I want to get anything here. It's a pretty good rocket launcher, I gotta say. But I don't want anything. So let me go ahead and uh, sell the scrap armor because we don't need it. And we are also selling... This funny helmet, the red tech helmet. Alright. So we got six squirrels, or not squirrels, ferrets. Why am I saying squirrels? It's ferrets. It's kind of the same thing anyway. But yeah, and then we're gonna sell the junk. Alrighty, got all the money. And I think we are good to go. Also, I should probably sell the drugs. Not really a fan of those. But honestly, no, you know what? We're gonna keep the drugs because um, they might be good items for kind of quest thingies. Who are you, buddy? Jonko Mar Murayama. This woman is scowling and kicking snow as she glares at the boarded up museum. Uh huh. She jumps when you approach. Uh, who? Um, who are you? Junko Murayama. Sculptor, roboticist, amateur historian, and former curator of the Colorado Springs Museum of History. Former? Can you believe it? I really fixed up that museum. Before me, just a bunch of dirty old trash we had to go look at five times a year in school. I brought the place into the 22nd century, scavenged some old robot parts to rebuild the animatronics, remade all the replicas from scratch, cleaned all the blood off the scar collector weapons. Good stuff. That sounds amazing. But... So, why did the museum close? She sticks out her lower lip. Officially? Because of the Dorsey raid. But I think they didn't like the questions I was asking about the Patriarch's history while I was renovating the exhibits. Ah, yeah, yeah. Stories of heroes are told by the survivors, right? I mean, why else would they tell me they'll be hiring a new curator? What's that got to do with the raid? Why do you think your questions got the museum shut down? I don't even know. I sent Diligent Joe, the Patriarch's private secretary, a list of questions about the Dorsey family and the routing of the Plains gangs. Just trying to clear up a few weird discrepancies, you know? 
Well, he doesn't get back to me, and then the raid happens, and I'm out on my ass with no explanation. That's weird, right? That's very weird. All right. We got a big space back. Wait, we've got a big space back at our HQ that would be perfect for a museum. You want to join the Rangers? That's rad. Heck yes. Thank you. You won't regret this. You're over at the old airbase, right? I've read all about that place. I'll see you back at your HQ. Yeah, we got a new party member. So cool. So uh, these guys won't let us in, probably. No, I wanted to quickly check. We are right now. We are here. We have to go all the way back down here. And then I wanted to check out this area. Sure. And then I'm going to go back into this area and we're going to collect our reward. So let's do a little bit of sidetracking here before we get our main story. Uh, also, I want everybody to come, not only Quan. So, wait a second. This is the door that we want to open. Let's check it out. What the hell is that? A mannequin? One? Shit, Hotlanders! Oh! I thought you was all dead! Back off! Can we talk about this? These are Dorseys. I mean, how many do we have here? Mm hmm. Three? I think we can deal with three Dorseys. This ambusher there. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, at the moment, we are not in an active combat scenario. So, I'm gonna try to bring some people in. Yeah. So, we're gonna just set up. Uh, you go up here. You go around here. That is okay. And we still have Mr. Blackjack. He's gonna go down here. Alright. Everybody there? Can we initiate? Should we initiate? Also, please reload that thing. That reloaded? It is reloaded. Okay, so I'm just gonna check my weapons real quick. Because I need to make sure that everybody is up and running. Uh, let's take that one. You're good to go? Alrighty. So. Also, why is Lucia healed up to full again? She should be at 75%, technically. Oh, unless we get some benefit from the uh, from the doctor skill here. But anyway, let's go. I'm gonna initiate with... Actually, I want you to swap positions. You go up here. You go up here. And we're gonna initiate with good old uh, Stormcrow. Here we go! To the face, center bus? No, to the face. Oh, if only I had a nuke! Yeah, right? If only you had a nuke. Haha! <laughs> Great, I love it. So, Mr. Cody coming in strong with the big hammer. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. Also, this sound is so weird, guys. I will defend this. Right. Good, good, good. Uh, Mr. Quan, we need you here, right now. Can we just overpower them? Do we even need cover? That's my question. 78%. I think we're gonna move here. And we're gonna shoot him. Nice. Critical. And that's kind of his 4 AP. So he's gonna also defend this. Just in case. Shadow Cat. Um, cannot really hit him. So we're gonna go down here. And we say hello! And goodbye! Cool! And the last thing is uh, we're also gonna defend this. Again, I try to not take any damage in this encounter. Stormcrow moves to cover. Great. And then we have Quan with no hit chance. So he's just gonna move down here and he's gonna have a good time. Also just defending this. I think what's gonna happen is that this Dorsey down here is gonna get another turn. But that's alright. Two people here. You're actually going down there, and you will save these AP. <laughs> Gotta gun you down! <laughs> and here come our animal companions. Take them! Wow, critical 24! Very nice! Alrighty. So, who's gonna take. He's gonna do it. I think it's gonna be Cody. Again, I wanna save ammunition. So we're gonna hammer them as much as possible. Kapow! That's what I'm saying. Next. 
Speaking of ammo, we have 51 shots for the revolver. That seems pretty good. 23 for the sniper rifle. What about we go center mass this time? Let's try. No! Fronty fire! Why? Oh, crap! <laughs> I hate that! Stop, don't do that, please! So much for saving resources, right? Holy crap! That, that was kind of bad. Don't you ever do that. Thank you. Okay, uh... Give me a probably Saber Cat here. Uh, Shadow Cat, sorry. Saber, Shadow, whatever. It's a cat. It's not worth taking the Torrent Strike for this guy. It's not dead. No! Defend this. Quan? Quan, 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 where are you? We need you right here. Actually... Let's take... Hey, what? You don't get a hit chance? No, it's 90%, 95 even, if I move here. Yeah, come on. You can do it, Lucia. Hit him. Bad blow, but there we go. Dead. Holy crap. <laughs> I didn't expect that. So, what do we get? Bit of ammo, bit of healing. That's pretty good. I mean, it kind of makes up for the trouble. We got some uh, 556 ammo. We get an injury kit. Yeah, that's nice. And some dollar bolas. And a container. Alright, let's check it out. Seems to be an old clothing store. Lots of money. Great. Medical crate and a safe. Yeah, definitely worth the trouble here. Hmm, more injury kits. Good. This is a level 5 lockpick, by the way. And we get an ancient love letter. What the hell? My dearest, I have left a puzzle for you as a test of your bond, of our bond. This is the first of three special locations within this park. Today is Sunday. I am counting the days until we are together again. I have left a puzzle for you as a test of our bond. This is the first of three special locations within this park. Today is Sunday. I'm counting the days until we are together again. What is that supposed to mean? Park, you say? Okay... I'm gonna check this out. Hey, good looking. <laughs> Alright, so we, we got everything here. So, when they're saying something about park... Do I have to go back to the Garden of the Gods? And check it out? I don't know. Might be. That was a cool building. And we got some level ups to do. We have three level ups already. This is going real fast. That's pretty good. So, what do we get? Two, four, five. I mean, we could push to another skill point. That's pretty good. That's always good. Or four. Ah, the next action point. Yes, that's what we wanted to do. Pretty good. So, confirm that. Next up, four skill points. Huh. I mean... Do we finally get a point into leadership? Getting a bit of a better hit chance here? I mean, investing into two here might not be too bad. Ally bonus on boss kill, 5% damage. He has a pretty wide um, radius in terms of leadership. It's a 1% hit chance. I think we can get away with that a little bit later. For the moment, I think I want higher mechanics. And higher kiss ass, and then we are fine. I mean, upgrading automatic weapons is also a good idea. So he gets a bit of a better hit chance altogether. Let's get mechanics, and then, you know what? I put a point in armor modding and automatic weapons. So we can mod whenever we find something new. That seems good. Let's go. There we go. And now Shadowcat. Shadowcat is getting... What it was that she wanted to get? More intelligence? No. I mean, it gives us a higher crit chance and all of that. That's kind of nice. And the skill point is always appreciated. Higher speed makes her way more maneuverable with the um, flamethrower that she has right now. <laughs> Strength gives her next bonus to uh, carrying better gear. Like, um, higher armor rated, um, armor. Awareness is not a thing she needs. That's also not really needed. 
and she has the bonus of action points already. You can push even higher for more action points. Uh, yeah, honestly, I think I want more constitution on her and better armor later. So we'll take that. Okay. So, lockpicking. Um, we have two, four, six points in lockpicking, and I think we are quite in the in the early stages of the game, so I don't want to put that any higher. What I want... I think I want Animal Whisperer, honestly. <laughs> I want better companions, really. First aid is also nice. Automatic weapons, I mean, hit chance is hit chance, right? But I have the feeling that combat-wise, we are... We're good, we're okay. You know? So... I'm an explorer type of guy, and I want to be able to animal whisper all the time. I want to I wanna see the little details of the of the world, and I want to explore everything. So we're going to go with animal whisperer here. Cool. So, and then we have Kodiak in the house. Kodiak actually gets a perk. That's cool. So, buddy, what, what do you need? I think you still need to increase your speed big time. Evasion is really good for you on the front line, and uh, the combat speed... Uh, it's also an important thing to have. Coordination is already at plus three, so... The way to make you faster is either coordination with more action points or more speed. And I think speed is the way to go about it here. And I really like the evasion part of that. Luck is fine. Awareness is a thing you don't need. I mean, range damage bonus. Who needs that if you have a melee weapon, right? So this guy is all about speed, strength and coordination. Nothing else. Good. Uh, yeah, confirm that, please. Thank you. Cool. So, melee combat is at 5 currently. I think I'm fine with that. I'd rather think about... Why do we have brawling, by the way? Hmm. Um, survival is a thing that Lucia brings to the table, so we don't need to go for it right now. We might go for it later. I think I'm gonna upgrade big guns, honestly. So whenever he is not getting into a good spot, then he can actually use his big gun on his shoulder there to, to wreak some havoc. That's cool. We're gonna take that and we're gonna keep the last skill point. Just for later. Alrighty, and then... Holy crap, we get a perk here. Uh, for the moment we have the duck and cover thing that gives us fire resistance and explosive resistance. We could... get that grenade. A 33% chance to get a grenade whenever we disarm something. Minesweeper. No longer set off landmines when stepping on them? I don't care. Um, Terrorizer. Flamethrower attacks engulf targets, reducing the hit chance. Ooh. Alright. Suppressing fire. Mm, I don't know. This is interesting, I gotta say. Gain plus 0 0.5 combat speed on the first turn of combat while using big guns. That's the thing to bring him into position, honestly. And I mean, I want him to the front. Leading strike. Uh, bladed attack. No, I'm not doing that. Stunning blow. This is very situational. I don't know which weapon I'm gonna carry later. That's interesting. That's more combat speed when you have two melee weapons equipped. At the same time. I don't want to have two melee weapons equipped. What does it bring us? I mean, seriously. It just gives us the perk... And, and the downside of not having a ranged weapon as a backup. So, honestly, I'm taking the move up thing. Let's go. Let's see how this goes. And I think I have to always now equip that as our first thing. And we're gonna then um, swap the weapons later in fight. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. There's still stuff that we can discover. Let's check it out. What's that? Cat brandy? Hostages murdered by Dorsey Boy. thugs. Wesson family confirmed dead. Oh wait, that's Brandy's diary. A small book with a series of hearts and daggers drawn on the cover. With the words, the diary of beautiful Brandy. The eye is drawn with a heart. Aww. Hey, Brandy. So you gonna give us some boars or what? Maybe later. Yeah. Later. Extra, extra, bloody shootout and guarding up the gods! Hey, paper boy, what's that? Hey, you're the Rangers! Well, first time we met, I didn't know you were in town. Heard all about you now. Um, yeah, that's fine. You bet. So, I want to see what's going on down here. 
The young guard's face is the young guard's face is nervous but determined. He steps forward as you approach, holding his hand up. By order of the patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. My uncle, Gideon Reyes, wants to speak to the Rangers. Oh, of course, Miss Wesson. Open it up, fellas. Ah, I see, I see, I see. So we can actually go to the next area. <laughs> oh, there's still so much here in Colorado Springs. Um, the first thing we're gonna do though is, uh, man, I really need to see a doctor. I'm actually thinking that I quickly go back to my base and then we're gonna try to see the doctor heal up completely. All right, all right. And have a good time. You're gone faster and free cremation so your family saves a few bucks on the funeral. Drowned in chocolate pudding for me. Uh, so, okay. the next big thing that we're gonna be doing is opening this lock. I love that. We gotta stock up. Alright, an interrogation. Opti Laser 9000 utility. What's that? Require cyborg tech? What the hell? Normally, human eyes don't. Oh, and lasers don't mix, except this eye, which shoots lasers. <laughs> lasers that blind other people's eyes. Wait, what? <laughs> also, this eye requires the removal of one of your eyes. The removal is performed with lasers! <laughs> what the hell? Alright, um, new ability. Fires a laser blast from your cybernetic eye, hitting multiple targets. That's a crazy amount of damage. On success, 25% to apply shocked. What? Cybernetic eye that shoots lasers? That is also applied with a laser? It's a frag grenade, that's an RPG, that's not bad. Rockets, energy cells, money, and another barrel, as well as aramid plating. Noise. Okay. Oh, that's oh, this crunching sound there. Oh, that didn't sound so nice. So uh, yeah, we got some new stuff. Uh, I have no idea how to get it installed, but uh, let's talk to Sheriff nice Daisy. To see the city back to life, huh? Yeah, people are. Hey, Daisy, we're back. Building. Here they are, back from one hell of a shootout at the Little Vegas. Round of applause for the Rangers, Marshals. Honestly, I don't know why I started that, but hey, if you're happy with the guys on the Vegas uh, casino gone, then I'm also happy. I'm pleased to hear you shut down that shitty little nightclub. Course, I'd rather put Brago in the pillories, so everyone could see what happens when you lay hands on a marshal. But as long as that rat is dead, I'm a happy cowgirl. Your law keepers after my own heart. Around here... We always remember who our friends are. Now, I said I'd owe you a favor if you took care of this for me, and I meant it. Thing is, Delgada owes you too, big time. So I'm sending him over to your base to manage your armory. He'll take good care of you. Thanks again, Rangers. You ever need my help, you know where to rustle me up. All right, very nice. Also, I'm going to talk to her again, because she might have a side quest or so. What do you need, Rangers? Hello, Daisy. Now that we are acquainted, we have a delicate question. The Patriarch appears in poor health. So who steps in when he dies? Uh-huh. Why? Want me to say it should be you? <clears throat> the Rangers could keep Colorado safe. I mean, if we had the right friends. Interesting. Uh, sure. Well, I can't argue with that. Not even the Patriarch could go it alone. Wouldn't have got half as far without the marshals. See, we all know the important folk around here. And we have an 
understanding with most of them. So whoever runs this town when the patriarch is gone, they need to be real good friends with me. Okay, you say the next leader of Colorado will need to be French of the Marshals. Are we friends now? I like you, Angels, but a girl needs to be sure before she commits, if you know what I mean. We ain't quite there yet. Oh boy, you need... Okay, you need people to actually uh, speak uh, for you. And you gotta get a reputation with them. Interesting. What's on your mind? Just a few questions. Tell about pillories. Can you fill us on the marshals? What's your story? Uh, let's oh, quickly I've ask you about her story. Let me go. Rangers. Started out as the Patriarch's bodyguard about 30 years ago. And he liked my style. Guess I was a cute young thing back then. After I helped him whoop the Plains gangs, he put me in charge of the marshals. Been doing the job ever since. Never gave him cause to complain. I keep things nice and peaceful around here. Yeah, until we came and destroyed everybody. So, let's get out of here. Roger that. Cool, 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 cool. Let me go ahead and go back to base. Also, what's that area? Have we not been there yet? No, that's the exit area, right? Come on, guys. Move it. Ah, you cannot even move it. I want to go back to my base. Yes, let me go back to Ranger HQ because I want to see what we just did now. I mean, we got a bunch of new friends here that are helping us out with kind of keeping the base uh, intact. And I want to see the dog. That's definitely a thing. That is 100% a, a thing that I need to do now. We have a bunch of injuries that need to be healed. We are not in full health capacity and a bit of rest actually is gonna be really nice. Just getting up uh, full and running again. Oh, and then we can also upgrade our armor that we have. We have armor plates and another barrel. I have the feeling this game is very quick in terms of um, uh, progress. You get a lot of level upgrades. You get um, to swap your weapons quite frequently. And you also get a lot of armor upgrades uh, and, and weapon upgrades and so November. on. Come in. Which means I should probably not holding on to them until I find the weapon. I should just use them when I find them. Uh, hey, Gonzalez, what's up? Yeah. I got Ms. Wong, the manager at the Sands Lux Apartments on the line. And this one might actually be something. Says she's got a tenant who might be making bombs in... What? Shush, shush, shush. Let me talk to them. You're leaving out important details. Uh... It's the weirdo in apartment three. He's gonna kill us all. There's all kinds of loud banging coming from his room. And he's not alone. He's got friends in there. They're planning something. I know it. Have you tried calling to marshals? Don't on his dead territory. I uh, will be right over, ma'am. I mean, we gotta do it. You, you will? Oh, 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 I knew you guys were better than the marshals. Come to the Sands Lux Apartments now. That loony's liable to blow the whole place sky high. Uh, sorry, November. Over and out. Huh? What do you mean by sorry? <laughs> This is so good. I love it. So, first things first. Well, um, uh, let's go over here and see if we can find Robo Chicken. Hey, Robo Chicken. Will you join me now? I don't know. I mean, we have more mechanic skill. We have more animal handling skill now. Let's do it. Maybe? Mm. Mm, I don't think we can. So, first of all, we gotta release the fox. Where's the fox? Fox? Oh, there's the fox. Okay, so let me quickly talk to the fox. Sorry, don't need you. You can go. The fox jitters softly and looks up at you. Yeah, we're gonna dismiss you. I wanna see if I can find... Uh, or if I can get the chicken here. So... I want the robot chicken. Appears furious at its confinement. Wait, what? How do we get it? I thought I could get it. Hmm... I don't think we can get it, but we can certainly get the dogs now. Who's that? Private Moise? Yay, we got a dog. We get plus 0 0.1 combat speed. Hey, Private. Kid victory sounds like a bad apple. Hmm. Okay, fine. So, uh, back into the base, because I want to quickly... Ooh. We got some light turrets Hi, here now. I'm I'm new. Welcome aboard. Where are you from? Oh, around. Yeah, me too. Where <laughs> you are? 
All right, all right, all right. We have some people here now. Over That's here. nice. How's it going Holy there, crap! This is filled with people. Yeah, wish I could say it was the same old petty crimes and barroom brawls. But it's I love it. So. so, um, we need to. Oh, we can also probably repair the toaster now, right? Let me go ahead and repair the toaster. What do we get out of this? We get a Tarjan token, a brass token inscribed with a scouting face and the name Tarjan. Is that a reference to an older wasteland? I don't know. We also get a toaster, repairman's badge. We get plus one toaster repair from that badge. Not bad. As well as a decoy and some Colorado dollars. So whenever we need to, we can apply that badge and then have plus one toaster repair. That's nice. Alright, that's the jail. These refugees are also still here. Uh, we're cool, right? We're cool. Plenty of space for you, plenty of space for us. Everything's cool. 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 Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, nothing down here, right? We have no prisoners. I just want to check real quick. Hey, Hope. How is it? The warden salutes you as you approach. Then gestures to the prison break, or to the pristine break. What do you think? Scrubbed up nice, huh? What can I do for you? Oh, the prisoners. You haven't arrested anyone yet, rangers. But you can bet they'll be in good hands when you finally bring the lawless to justice. Cool. Good luck out there. Big lock. Holy crap! I wasn't aware that we can pick up oh, that desk here. Leopard print handcuffs. Ooh boy. Um, eternity tarts. They give you a bit of constitution, that's nice. Pickles as well, yeah, that's also good. And then the locksmith's companion permanently increases lock picking by one. So, um, that's pretty good for her. But I'm also thinking about something here. When we take a look at her skills, we can see that she is pretty good at lock picking right now. And the next level costs me three upgrade. The next after that costs me four upgrade, and then it costs me even more. So, what about we upgrade her naturally? Or we just keep the book around for when we need it? And when there is a lock that I cannot pick and I need to pick it on the fly, uh, then I'm gonna upgrade that. But I think I wanna save some skill points. Because, again, they're gradu gradually getting more expensive. And I want to use the book ideally for the last point, right? Uh, also, let's take a look at Sh uh, Stormcrow right now. She is our sniper. Two, four, six, so that's a good breakpoint. Do I want her to have more speed? Not really. I want her to have more coordination so she can move a bit more while she is... Um, while she is wearing that big gun that costs a lot of action points. Or keeping more action points for the next round. Or being more defensive, evasive when we are ducking in cover. I think that's good. I mean, luck gives us higher critical and higher penetration, but it's not that big of a deal. Awareness gives us base hit chance and more range damage bonus. I mean, high damage bonus on a high damage weapon is good. I think it's awareness, actually. I think she needs to get there. Yeah. Definitely. The damage bonus is gonna be really good on her. Alright. Uh, let's close that. Actually, I shouldn't have closed that. I should have gone for other skills here. But hey, here we go. Now, we have three skill points. Toaster repair costs us two. Hmm. If we get that to four and apply the badge, we already have toaster repair five. That's cool. Also, weird science seems good. Sniper rifle seems good. Having higher precision is great. Uh, barter five was sometimes a requirement already. So I'm gonna go with that. Again, I'm kind of the explorer type. I want to get all the um, dialogue options and I want to be able to, uh, you know, explore everything. So, one perk. What are we doing with it? Bonus loot. Yeah, that's nice. Now yields toast. Uh, we have one toast already. It's kind of a full heal. That's really good. Um, overcharge? No. That's not a thing. Charge your weapon empowerment to deal bonus energy cold or fire damage on a on the next attack. I think it only only applies to weird science weapons, right? No, I'm okay with that. 
Barter is not a thing I want. Uh, reduces an enemy's evasion by negative 15%. Marked targets also take 50% more damage from precision strikes. I like that. I really like that. How much AP does it cost? It's 2 AP, so we can mark and shoot in the same round. That's perfect. Let's go with that. Great. Alrighty. So, um, Mr. Quan here. Mr. Quan is getting, I think, more awareness. Higher perception is always appreciated. And it's also a better hit chance and more range damage bonus. I don't think he needs anything else, really. Yeah, he's gonna be our perceptive guy. He's gonna be the one who's finding a trap, and then we have the other guys disarming them. Uh, sneaky shit is always good. Rifles is always good. Let's go with that, give some higher perception even. And we're gonna probably keep the last skill points. Yet again. Next upgrade is gonna be big automatic weapons. Sure. So there's that. And then we have Lucia as well. Hi Lucia. Let me quickly get her an attribute point. So, awareness. I mean, range damage bonus on the gun that she's wielding is pretty good. But here's the next action point. That's what we want. Absolutely. And then massive small arms. Um, I mean, she's pretty good with survival and weapon modding. I mean, if she is going for weapon modding, my other character here, my blackjack, is going for armor modding. So we have all of that covered for the moment. I think she doesn't need anything else. So it's uh, weapon modding and survival. She's okay with small arms already. Having six points invested already is damn good. Alrighty, so that's gonna be her. Man, all of these upgrades, they are coming so quickly. As I was saying, this is a, this is a very fast-paced game when it comes to progression. Oh, this is the museum. 7A. 7A, check. 13C. Uh-huh, 13C. 1B. 1B, got it. 2B. Hmm. Hey, Rangers! I've Hope you like 2B. what I've done with the space. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Found it. Sorry, 2B. Looking great. Yeah. Okay, 4A. You got yep. the disco board, really? <laughs> hey, disco board. Recovered from the Little Vegas nightclub. Uh-huh. Great. All right, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. We have a museum now. This is a refugee center. What else do we have? On the left side, there was still something that we were missing out on uh, in terms of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there was a code missing. Oh, and then we can also repair this this bot now. That's gonna be great. So we have an armory now. Cool. We can shuffle new weapons and armor at discounted rate. The question is, where's the dog? Didn't we get some compensation every now and then? Man, hey, buddy. I never thought I'd be in a position to thank outsiders for saving my life. Here. But here we are. I don't know what Brigo intended, but, well, I'm guessing you saved me a lot of pain. Anyway, Sheriff Daisy asked me to set up an armory for you, get you situated. So I'll get started on that. Want to see what I've got so far? Absolutely. Uh, show me what you got. Happy to. Take a look. All right, there's ammunition that we can buy. Also, some pretty standard stuff here. Nothing too crazy. Status effect resistance 15%. Oh, that's an impact foam. Oh, that's a mod. All right. Ooh, combat belt. Requires three armor modding. We don't have three armor modding right now. Really? I thought we had that. No, we have that. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Tape grip. Uh, critical chance. Um, a balanced weight. Higher max damage, lower min damage. Alright. I mean, why not? That's some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> Deploys a disco bot. Ah, uh, yeah, fine. Yeah, guys, we have some real cool stuff here. Rocket saw pop. You saw a saw pop. Deploys a robotic saw pop follower that will assist in combat. Okay, 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 okay. There is so much cool stuff here, guys. Uh, this is a negotiator. Ahem, <clears throat> really? It deals energy damage, right? Or what? Yeah, that's uh, good damage against vehicles and robots. It's uh, using energy cells. Wow. Pretty cool sniper rifle, I gotta say. The SWAT rifle, what about that? That thing is good. That thing is, like, real good. 
Having a bit of a lower range. Higher ammo capacity, though. And we have the center mass... The center mass thing. However, we gotta get to automatic weapons 5. Yeah, if we want to get better weapons, we really have to upgrade those things as well. But anyway, guys, uh, for the moment, I think I'm not gonna buy anything here. Um, in terms of ammo, I think we are good. Don't need anything. And I mean, we have all the lockpicking and, and finding stuff abilities, which means that we are kind of okay. We are finding a lot of stuff on the way. Also, my people were kind of healing. That's good. Uh, let me go back here, because that seems like it's kind of the... Uh, the doctor spot. The med bay. If you can shop for medical supplies, you can also speak to the doctor to get a free healthcare. Cool. Hey, Rangers. Uh, it'll take a while. But I think I'll be able to make an actual surgery out of this place. Just need to call in a few favors for equipment and supplies. If you need treatment now, well, I think I'm ready for that. What do you need? I like to be patched up. That's what you pay me for. Have a seat. Very good. That is so important, getting all of these um, negative debuffs out of our tr our crew here. Also, I want to quickly tell, uh, take Mike a look at the supplies here. over from the garage. Not much yet, but... Yeah, it's fine, Doc. Oh, this is so good. Do we stock up on meds here? I think I don't need to, honestly. I mean, we have a bit of toast that heals us for 100%. We have beet loaf that is good. We have some other stuffs as well. And I think we are good to go. We have 16 med packs. We have 12 med hypos. Nah, that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna keep the money together for the moment. However, I'm gonna loot that crate. Yep. Thanks, dog. Thanks for all of your supplies. <laughs> the people down here don't even need it, right? Cool. Uh, also, we should probably take that armor crate now. I'm stealing from my own people. Oil buried under their land. You know, if Daisy would just let us off our chain for once, it would be our land. All of that is pretty bad. Stand a chance against the real thing. I should really look around in the base to find more loot, actually. And there we go. Alright, so the stuff here is... Okay, I would say. It's okay. So, the next big thing that I wanted to do... No! They cleared out the robot! No! Oh, man. I'm a bit sad because I wanted to see what this robot was doing. We could have repaired that thing or done some mechanical stuff with it. Alright. Hey, car. Um, I don't want to leave right now. Do I? I think we are done here anyway, right? Yeah, let's take the footpath down to Colorado Springs. I want to go back there, and then we're going to go and um, kind of try to defuse the bomb or kill everybody who's trying to build bombs in that um, apartment section there. I think that's the next big thing. We're going to try to to get things done there and uh, see if we can get into another fight. Also, do I want a mod? I have the feeling that we are kind of on the on the edge of getting some new good stuff. I don't know. Who even needs mod upgrades? No, seriously, I think I should really upgrade my weapon skills a bit so that I can actually um, carry better weapons and then we're gonna mod them. Come in Team November, Ranger HQ here. A squad of BAMPs rolled up to Ranger HQ, rough mercenary type. Really? Their leader goes by Gary Wolf, claims to be an ex-Ranger. Says he has news for you about your old enemy. Seems like the cutthroat take no prisoner type. Over. Bamf. Bad ass motherfuckers. Okay. Uh, are they causing any problems? That's a negative. Some hurt feelings and broken pottery, maybe. But they appear to be friendlies. Hmm. Copy that. We'll check it out. We'll be here. Over and out. Man, we were just coming back to town. You know what? I'm gonna go for the apartment first. And I think it was um, somewhere around here, right? Yeah. That's the apartments. We're gonna go there first because I want to. Man, I like that we have higher combat speed. And I mean, the doggo might give us a bit more damage output as well. Are there any stats on the dog? Can I see it? Hey, dog. Uh, didn't work. All 
right. Oh, woof. The dog looks up uh, at you expectedly. Um, who's a good dog? No, you're a good dog. Yeah. The dog's tongue rolls happily as they scratch behind the ears. Yeah, I cannot do anything here. But we're gonna keep the doggo. Doggo seems fine. Yeah? This is the Sans Lux apartments? Who's there? The Desert Rangers to see Miss Wong. What? You're here? I don't believe it. Come in. Come in. Yeah, let me in. Assemble the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let's get in here. I mean, we have a squad of three here. We have a team already. I want to travel to the apartments. Oh, guys, this is going to be interesting. We're going to kill everybody here again. This is what we are. I think we are playing murder hobo here. <laughs> let's try to be a little bit more diplomatic here. Let's try. Maybe we can squeeze out some information out of these guys and make them just go. Instead of kill everybody. Although, again, I mean, if we kill the people, uh, they are leaving loot. And loot is good. That's a thing. Oh, man. Last time in the nightclub, I was just confused. I had, I didn't see any other option to kind of peacefully resolve this, so... I had to attack, I guess. Rosie Wong is waiting for you when you enter, smoking a cigarette. She smiles when she sees you. Her teeth are the color of caramel corn. Oof. I can't believe you came. Those goddamn marshals never come. They think I'm a pest. I'm vigilant, is what I am. V I G I L. <laughs> she takes a deep drag. A N T. Anyhow, I hope you're ready for trouble, Rangers, because I got a situation here. Oh, come on, Rosie. I always came when you called, didn't I? You're with the Rangers now, Quan? Well, you were one of the better ones. I'm glad you're out of that martial racket. What's the problem with the marshals? No, 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 no. What seems to be the trouble? The guy in room three, Irv. He's not supposed to have anybody else living there, but I hear voices in there all the time. They're always banging on stuff, and I can smell burning and bleach, and I don't know what else. Make him stop it or throw him out. Either one is fine with me. Have you looked inside the room? I can't. The shifty bastard's put his own locks on the door. That's how I know he's up to no good. Apartment room three. End of the long hallway. The door's on the right. I know he's up to something. I just know it. <sighs> okay, Rosie. We got it. I'm sorry, Miss Wong. Are my pets allowed in this apartment here? I brought a dog and a cat. But I see you got some cats yourself. <laughs> All right. Katmandu. Hey, that's a named cat. Can we tame it? Okay, okay, okay. What the hell was that? Alright, um, I don't know if I want Katmandu. I mean, we get a 6% crit chance here, but the combat speed is also pretty good. I think I like it more. We're gonna keep that. So, uh, number three. That's apartment number one. We're gonna check all of them out, I guess. Let's see. They are containers here, guys. We're gonna get some good stuff out of this. Oh, yeah. That's money and that's bullets. Also, let's repair this. Sure, why not? I mean... What's in it for us? That's a cyborg chicken. These cyborg chicken. Wow. Well, sickly and starved looking, the chicken is also unexpectedly spry. For some reason, half of its head is shelled in metal and cybernetic parts are implanted in its body. Animal Whisperer 3. Hey, come with us if you want to live. Is that a... That, that... Yeah, it is a Terminator quote. It hops diagonally away from you, feathers fluffed and eyes wide in shock. But it doesn't take long before the chicken decides you're worthy of cooperation and begins following your lead. I sorry, sorry, doggo. Can we take it? Clock. 
Oh, oh, okay. Is it coming with us now? It's an additional companion? I don't know. So, what I do know is that we want all of this stuff here. Uh, nice rebar knuckles. And then we have that. Ooh, a savage helmet. That thing indeed looks savage. And we got some three armor leggings. Which is good because we have somebody that doesn't have any pants yet. So I'm his fancy pants. Good luck with that. And we're gonna take Mr. Kodiak here and he's gonna get... No, seriously, what is... What's he gonna get? Not this one. Not this one. Nope. That's all kind of bad, but that helmet gives us nothing, really. It looks better, but we would lose crit resistance. <laughs> because we have modded that thing already. So, yeah, there's a, there's a big no-no to all of that, I would say. Although, Quan has strength, right? Critical rules. Is, yeah, we're, we're gonna add that. Because it looks savage. Armor 5. The other one was what? Armor... Where is it? Wait a sec. Oh, there it is. It's all armor 5. So, it, it doesn't really matter which one we take here. No, it's fine. We don't need to overcomplicate things. Uh, one thing that I wanted to check is... Uh, what is the RPG here in terms of damage? That thing deals 45 to 67. That's better than the Polar Express. Range of 21. Ammo capacity just 1. 99 penetration. It's the same thing, but a little bit better, so we can get rid of the Polar Express. That's good to know. Uh, other than that, I don't think that any of these things are any better, except maybe for the helmet. That's a 3 armor and crit chance plus 2. That's 4 armor, crit chance plus 3. Probably want to keep that. Yeah. Cool. So we got it. Everybody's outfitted. And that was that room. Alrighty, let's keep going. That's apartment number two. Fuck off. Why? Hey, Frank. What are you doing here? Huh? Get the fuck out of my apartment. All right, <laughs> you convinced me. Cool, cool, cool. So, it's a lockpick. Let's take it. Out of range. Yeah, but... Hello? At least pick the lock. Oh, can I only pick it from the other side or what is going on here? I'm out of range. Yeah, but... There we go. Okay, so somebody was blocking. Nice. Satoshi. Who the hell... What? All of these computers appear to be networked together. They are running completely unrecognizable steams, uh, streams of code. Who are you? Meet space demons intercepted. Display rendered objects and assigned to translation vectors. This hooded figure appears at you, unblinking, and proffers a simple metal case. He seems to want you to take it. Take the case. Alert. Do not delete local references to object. If memory allocation is null, then unhandled exception occurs. It appears he's telling you not to open or discard the case, or you'll face some kind of consequence. He turns back to his terminals and seems to forget you're in the room. Avoid unintentional unsigned wraparounds. Uh, okay, Mr. Cyber Dude. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep that for the moment. Maybe we can deliver it somewhere. That is so cool, apartment number five. I'm so happy that we all got the, the got the lock picking stuff here because we would miss out on so many cool things. Right, some brawling pills or brawling booze actually. Junk, junk, junk. Yep. But it's a bit of worth. And this is apartment number three. What's that? Me pies. How to make pies from scratch? Good. Oh, that's a toaster. That's a toaster level 4, but we can do it. That's a toy car. Oh my god. So, uh, let me go to Stormcrow and we're gonna 
give her the toaster repair badge. The lucky charm can go on somebody else, actually. You are not having the lucky charm. So, you get a crit chance? Sure. So, now we should be able to toaster repair that. Oh, so good. Ba-da! Argon Lance, heavy machine gun. Lots of damage, requires big guns, five. Good damage against robots and so on. Requires uh, energy cells, actually. All right. And then there is an EMP grenade. Requires nerd stuff, four. I like it. Throw and inflict shock on anyone affected in the area, dealing negative 10% con damage and negative 2 AP for one turn. Robots also have a 50% chance to become glitched, causing them to attack allies for three turns. I love it! She's definitely gonna hold that grenade. It's better than her Molotov cocktail. Where is it? It's a cryo grenade as well. I cannot use it yet. I need Nerd Stuff 4 for it. Crap. No, wait. Who was the nerdy? It was her. No, it's Nerd Stuff. Uh, not Weird Science. It's Nerd Stuff. So, Mr. Blackjack is gonna get that. Yes, 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 yes. But he also has the machine turret, and I want him to have a meta hypo in hand. Uh, crap. Do I, though? Maybe the MP grenade is, grenade is better here. That's cool. So let's give her her thing back in her hands, which is gonna be one of these grenades. Actually, frag grenade is, I think, better than the Molotov cocktail in this scenario. So, here we go. Very, very nice. Oh, yeah, and then there was this... Argon Lance requires five big guns. We are also not quite there. Yeah, I gotta say, at this point, we really have to invest into our gunnery skills so that we are actually able to use these properly. I mean, there's a negative 10% chance to hit and negative 100 critical. If you wanted to use that, it's pretty good. Has super high penetration. That's, um, that's a lot of damage that we could deal with that thing. But not right now. So, let's go ahead and pick the lock. Apartment number three. What the hell is going on in there? I mean, there is something like a light machine gun turret. One, three, five, seven, left gone. The greatest mind of a generation. Thrown down the Gazaman Platz. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Holy crap! He's cloned himself! God, the greatest mind of a generation. The greatest oh, mind of a generation! That is so good! Uh, yes, 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 yes! How do we get it done? I don't know! Up in the world, ma! Sacramento, California! Uh, luckily they have not that many, uh, not, not that big of a, uh... I am a human, uh, just uh, like you! Circle. I swim as cuff schmiddle too. <laughs> this is so good! Uh... Okay. Do you know where you are going to? Do you like the things that wife is showing you? Yeah, that's fine. That's alright. So the, the turret actually... Holy crap! My dog! No, oh, my chicken! Hey, kill chicken! Oh shit. No, we're shrunk! <laughs> Yo, dudes, we are already shrunk. Ow! Leave Major Tomcat alone! Oh my god. Do I. Do I lose Mr. Tomcat now? I wanna really shoot that nitrogen tank gun. there. That's so important. Okay, 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 okay. What do we do? Precision strike. I mean, that's a good thing. So we are not dealing damage against that guy, right? Maybe it's the tank that we should hit. That's a lot of health! I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Holy crap. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna be doing. I want to deploy a turret. Like, um... Like right here. Shouldn't have dropped it there because I also wanted to shoot the nitrogen tank. Anyway, um, so no, no tank, no tank. We have also like no IP left. Maybe cover is a good idea. Hmm. I gotta go somewhere, but this turret also has to go. Ah, crap. Okay. 
I will precision strike this guy. Hey, clone dude. So, since we cannot really deal damage, I think I'm gonna hit your arms. Reduce the target's damage by 25%. Bleeding. Oh boy, bleeding is good. Reducing target's armor. I mean, yeah, running four armor. Sure, let's do that. <sighs> armor penetration. And then we're gonna keep the remaining uh, action points for next round. Ah, this is bad. Let's bring her over here. Why, what, what is doing, what, what are we doing with Shrunk? Evasion high, melee damage, negative, range damage, negative 35%. That's not good. Team Predator? No. Uh, you know what? Burning doesn't really do anything to my turret, right? But it might do a lot to them. That's what I'm talking about! Alrighty. Uh, also, we have to kind of take this turret down somehow. Oh man, this 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 brain brainwasher. That's gonna be good. Something like Um wait a sec. Ah oh, crap, that's a that's a spray weapon. I wasn't aware. So what if we move here? Do we have to spray then? I don't know, it feels feels risky. Honestly. Let's try. Let's go. So... We have a 23% chance to hit. That is not gonna be enough. So I... I think I'd rather shoot... I mean, that's, that's a hit chance. 66 is okay. I think I'd rather shoot a turret. I wanna try to take it out. And yes, I know. I'm currently... Uh, I'm currently just grinding through the armor instead of disabling the generator, which could also be a thing, but I want it down now. So, um, defending? Yes, I'm gonna defend this. Uh, sure, so, Kodiak. Kodiak is not really able to do anything here. Uh, also, completely blocked, so we have to kind of free up a room, free up, free up a way. <laughs> oh, crap. The dog! I thought we could actually move through our people, but it's obviously not a possibility. Crap. That, that's really bad. It's like horribly, horribly bad. More grenades then? I mean, they're already burning, right? Um, That's a big problem. We got 8 AP. So, what if I move here? Cannot quite hit the turret. That's a shame. I guess we shoot the clone then. Twice. Some damage. Some more damage. And more? No. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. So, buddy. Chance to hit is garbage. You cannot really do anything right now. I can do one thing. Actually, I can do one thing, which is throwing a freaking grenade over here. Let's go. Let's see what happens to our turret. That's okay, honestly. Yeah, I'm fine with that. And the remaining points, we cannot use for ambush, sadly, but I guess we're gonna keep some points for later. It's only two, I know, but that's fine. 15%. We'll crouch, buddy. And then... We'll take the other gun and we're gonna just ambush. All right, fine. I'm just hoping that they are taking the turret as, yeah, their main target here. Good job, Quan. Yeah, Shadow Cat is really getting hit here. It's a nitrogen tank. I mean, nitrogen gives them gives them freeze. Okay, so Cat and Dog are. 
Yeah, cat and dog are now out of the way, which is great. We needed that. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Next up. Let me take... Let me take Kodiak first. He wants to really get into the fight now. Yo, buddy. Can I go up here and hit him? I want to take one target out before anything else right now. So let's take that. Hello, I'm Tiny. I'm Tiny Kodiak. Ah, he resisted the stun. No, uh, but it's okay. One goes up here. We're gonna use the spray attack. Perfect. Yeah, that's fine. What can we do to the turret with that? I don't know. I mean, we have the shotgun. What is the cone of the shotgun? That could be interesting. But we had to go... Like, over here, and then put it in that direct. Actually, that, that's, that's pretty good. Let's go. Let's move up here. Ah, this is still fire? Crap. Good to know. But this way, we actually can shoot two enemies at the same time. And that's a kill. Great. So, what are we doing with the remaining two AP? I honestly don't know. We could crouch. We should have crouched earlier, by the way. Let's crouch earlier. Uh, let's crouch now. Alright, alright, alright. So, next up is gonna be Mr. 10 AP. Mr. 10 AP is gonna shoot the clone in the face like crazy. Alright. And the remaining points we're gonna transfer over. So that's good. Is there anything they can do here? I don't know. We will shoot the clone like crazy. Because that's what we do. Getting all the status effects online. And now we could go for a torrent strike on her. But you know what? She's fine where she is. She's also gonna save some action points. Alright, um, sniper rifle. Sniper rifle might kill. Sniper rifle might wanna go for the light turret there. Yet again. Crouch. Eighty-eight, ninety-five. Let's get the clone, he might burn to death. Warmy might crit him! And we are big again! Yeah! Give him hell, light machine gun turret! Mmm, we have some nice turret on turret violence here. Yeah, that's cool, we got two clones down. And they are really taking the bait. Man, that turret is so valuable. It's really good. Nice crit from the dog there. Oh boy, that thing has some punch. Yeah, that's great. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So we're gonna take Stormcrow first. Stormcrow is gonna... Snipe the turret down now. Almost. Almost. And we're gonna defend this just in case. She is not able to do anything anymore anyway. Anything anymore anyway. Fun sentence. I'm gonna punch you! And I'm gonna punch you again! No, I'm not! I'm gonna defend this! So Shadow Cat has a pretty good hit chance here. Good corner fire. Let's go. Nobody is in her way for stray shots. I'm just gonna shoot him twice and then we kill him. That's so good, guys! It's working! You will defend. Great. So. Kill that. And we are out of combat, right? Exactly. That, I would say, considered the circumstances, was pretty nice. Ah. Let's see, uh, how long are you burning? Eight seconds remaining? <laughs> Too hard to handle. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Ooh. So I think we handled the situation quite well here. I think it's also time to loot. Let's do that. Let's do that first, and then we go back to the lady. The Clown's Guide to Pains. Makeup and Acid. 
<laughs> okay. It's a lore book. Interesting. Also, ah, it's confetti grenades. Fine. Turn your Jan into a Marcia. Whatever that means. That's ammo. That's good. We also try to see what we have there from these guys. Scientist outfit. Okay. And then a pulse gun. That pulse gun is an assault rifle that needs three automatic weapons and... It's a pre-war. The laser Dazzler was used in riot control. Since then, the laser has been cranked the hell up. It seems to be a good thing to have. I like it. Also... Clothing appearance. You found some clothing. Try it out. Visit your barracks in the Ranger HQ to customize your appearance. I love that. Okay, I was really thinking about it would be cool to look like a lab scientist, but I don't want to put that on my armor. So I can just change the appearance. That's nice. A bit of junk. More outfits. Another pulse gun. Twisted hydraulic. Okay, that's cool. So containers, containers, all is looted here. So we're gonna just loot everything and then we are good to go. Medicals. Let's also disable the generator because I I think we can still get some experience out of that. Clone machine. We will take a look at that in a second. I first of all want to loot. And sorry, sorry, um, Terminator roster here. It's down. On the desk you find a chaotic mess of ancient dot matrix prints out, scientific journals and dog-eared books. Notes are scrawled upon them in a wild childish hand. A computer awaits a button press. I'm gonna step away. Or am I? Shall we begin the experiment? Let's go. The computer instantly returns with bold, with bold blinking text. No subject found on primary or secondary sensors. Ooh, what are we doing here? Hey. Shadowcat. Hey, Stormcrow. What will happen if I do that? I'm too curious, guys. I'm so curious. Also, I want um, Blackjack to do it. Because he's the nerd. Alright, the computer analyzes both sensors as large volumes of data fill the screen. A small thermal printer begins to spew out, spew out reams of information uh, laden in paper. Uh, the text is thick with mind-numbing scientific jargon, charts, graphs, cryptic electrical and anat uh, anatomical diagrams, and some printouts, reference books, and notes on the table. The titles of the book, textbooks stand out. Cloning in our time, a dream or reality. Robotic cybernetics and cloning, the future is now. Cloning theory and practice. Life everlasting TM, business prospectus, a new you. The list continues, but the component remains the same. The name on every title page is Professor Urban John Finster, PhD. Um, find and confront Earth with what you discovered on this apartment. Mm -hmm. Every ranger knows the name of Erwin John Finster, the director of the infamous Project Darwin, and an old enemy of the Desert Rangers. Oh, Rosie's tenant, Irv, has some explaining to do. I mean, he doesn't live anymore, right? Oh, what, what? Okay, let's inspect that clone machine. The readouts and graphics are have uh, flatlined now that the clones are dead. Given specialized knowledge and the right resources, it might be possible to make more. Can I clone my main character a thousand times? Alright, we got that. I think we are kind of done here. Except we are not because there's a safe. Let's lockpick that. Alright. That is another cyborg tech. Uh, no sis wait, no susception clamp? The microcomputer attached to the brain stem uh, gates pain signals to the user. As a result, the injuries are far less likely to result in incapacitation. Alright, crit resistance is great. We also got a Tommy gun with some bullets and another armor pad. Pretty good, I would say. So we got some clones destroyed. 
But I think we're kind of done here. I do believe so. So this guy was just a mysterious stranger, right? It wasn't the guy that we were talking about. Satoshi, yeah. Avoid unintentional unsigned wraparounds. Hey. So He's dead. what did you find in apartment three? Was he making bombs like I said? Uh he wasn't there, and it's weirder than that. Oh, so I have to find him. Yeah, okay, got it. Um Weirder how? Trust us, don't ask. <laughs> Your tenant may be associated with a dangerous scientist. He also has a cloning machine, and we killed several copies of him. Yeah, you were right. That's weirder than making bombs. Can I at least go in and clean up? Um, it's not safe in there. Please stay out until we find him. Oh, his security deposit's not gonna cover the repairs, is it? If he wasn't in his apartment, then he's probably at the bookshop in Market Square. Look for a skinny guy, always wearing a lab coat. Let me know what happens. All right, skinny guy in the Market Square. I think I'm gonna go for that as well. Here we go. Uh, we want to travel there. Yes, of course, of course, of course, of course. Sure thing. Also, I do believe we need a secondary gun on Mr. Blackjack there, right? I mean, currently he has a nice assault rifle, but I think an assault rifle that can also blast me mechanic parts and robots apart is a good idea. It's a good thing to have. And man, that was a great investment of a mechanical turret there. That was so good. We were just... We were not really taking any big damage. I think we got hit once, but that was it. So having these decoys is glorious. I'm really happy that we got one of the nerds here. Oh, it's, it's a mechanic, basically. A nerd mechanic. A, a nerd manic. A manic nerd. Uh, it's not getting any better. I sh should probably stop now. So, uh, one thing. Let me quickly go into my inventory. Because, ah, the other thing is a fuser, the laser weapon. I mean, that thing kind of repairs things, but who needs repairs? I, I don't know if we ever use that. I think I'm gonna take the pulse gun as my secondary instead. Having something that can kind of breach metal, that's good. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Uh, also, we have a lot of armor plates that we can probably implement into our armor. Uh, we wanted to go to the market square, which is here, right? So let's go around this big building and, and see if we can find the dark. The mad scientist. Guy in a lab coat, you say? I mean, Maybe that I'll just makes sense. Sure they could use my help. Lab code? That's a container that we didn't loot, so we're gonna do that real quick. There's also some junk. Always getting the money. You never know what it's good for. Ooh, armor upgrades. That's cool. I was talking yeah, for the wards or the races. There he is. Fly up and turn into play pens. Seriously. Uh, Why would uh, you even uh, want to uh, live uh, with uh, me? Uh, hey, Earth. Uh, uh, Hi. A tall, lanky man is looking over the books on a merchant stand, muttering nervously to himself. Hi. Mind if I ask you some questions? Um, I guess. Wh who are you? We're the Desert Rangers. We've been helping out around Colorado Springs. Is your name Irv? I... I... I'm Irv. What do you want? Oh, we were attacked in your apartment by a few guys who looked just like you. Any explanations for that? Oh no! Did you kill them? I mean... Yeah. Oh, poor Claude. They... They never really acted right. I, I, I screwed up the formula somehow. So, we found some papers in your apartment written by Urban John Finster. Is that your real name? I... Uh... He looks around nervously. Please don't tell the marshals, but I'm one of his clones. Unfortunately, I'm fourth generation, at least. So, I'm not as smart as the original. Smart enough to, to use Dr. Finster's notes to get the cloning machine working again, but... What? But not smart enough to make good quality clones. I can't even make one as good as myself. And I'm not that good. Bits of me don't work very well at all. 
What do you know about Dr. Finster? Uh, let's ask if he's still alive. The original? No, n not anymore, but I guess, in a way, as long as I'm alive, he is too, because I'm him, aren't I? He pales suddenly and swallows. Or, uh, I mean, I'm him, but not the part of him that wanted to wipe out the entire human race, right? Yeah? <laughs> I, I, wasn't, I wasn't suggesting, no. You know the whole nature versus nurture debate? How some things are genetic and some things you learn? Well, that killing everybody part of him, that was nurture. He, he wasn't born that way, and, 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 uh, and neither am I. I so you believe me, don't you? Tell us more about the clones, or we believe your story, or um, we believe you are not smart enough to threaten the human race, or we don't believe you. Clones can't be trusted. Holy crap, that's a decision here. Man. Oh, this is an interesting turn of events here. It could go a lot of different ways now. Um, what do you know about Finster? Oh, Dr. Finster info, was a yeah. genius. He's the only person in the world to have mastered the cloning of humans. He, he may have become a little paranoid at the end, but that doesn't lessen any of the good he gave to the world. Until he decided all humans had to die. He was a real humanitarian. Was he? Uh, we believe you're not smart enough to threaten the human race. I mean, that was pretty threatening. They, they had, like, big guns and threw shrinking rays at us, shr shrinking grenades at us, and they had turrets and all of that. I don't believe you. Clones can't be trusted. No! No! I promise I'm a good person! Please don't arrest me! Please! We're not. In fact, if you bring your cloning machine, you're welcome at Ranger Headquarters? We could use a scientist like you? Um... Maybe? Yeah, let's take him. Let's get him. Oh my god, he could be the guy that gives us the cyber technology bonus. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. But hey, we need we need scientists. Mad scientists in the house. Oh, yeah, that's that's it. You're gonna let me be a real scientist? This is the best. I, I'm so grateful. I'll do good work for you. I promise. We gotta keep him under the keen eye of our rangers, and then he's not gonna do anything bad, I hope. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, Earth, welcome to the crew. Interesting, I didn't foresee that. I was thinking about, like, executing him as we are standing here on the marketplace. Arresting him is also an option. I mean, we have that prison, we have that break. But at the same time, um, he, he surprised me. He really surprised me. All right, guys, I think that concludes today's episode of Wasteland 3. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time, we're gonna try to get uh, some more... Uh, stuff done in the southern area here in the not the machine shop the Broadmoor Heights There is where we're gonna go and if you like the video Don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye